In the final scene of Rogue One, Darth Vader brutally slaughters rebel troopers in the hallway of their ship as they attempt to deliver the plans for the Death Star to Leia on the Tantive IV. As the rebels are being decimated by Vader, we get some incredibly interesting evidence that could point to Commander Cody being on board the ship. So did Commander Cody join the Rebels after the Clone Wars and Order 66? I'm going to break down this incredibly interesting theory about how Commander Cody may have survived the Darth Vader hallway scene from Rogue One. So remember to hit the subscribe button and like the video for more awesome Star Wars lore content because only 20% of you who are watching are currently subscribed. When Darth Vader absolutely destroys the Rebel fighters as they attempt to transfer the Death Star plans to Leia, you can hear one of the Rebels shout a name out trying to get him to hurry up. The name that this Rebel shouts out sounds very similar to the name Cody. I'll play the clip for you now. So right there you can hear the Rebel say, Cody, let's go, let's go. After this there is another piece of evidence that comes from one of the Rebels in the back of the ship. When Darth Vader is deflecting blaster shots and using the force to direct them back at the Rebels, you can hear a very sharp scream of pain which sounds exactly like the screams of the clone troopers in the Clone Wars series. I'll play the scream for you now in normal speed and then again slow down. And if we also compare this scream to those from the Clone Wars series, you can definitely hear the similarities. At the same time as the scream is heard, Vader is using the force to push blaster bolts back at the rebels and you can even see one of the rebels fall to the ground shortly after. It's hard to tell because of how quickly the shot cuts in and out, but it looks like the bolt hits the rebel in the knee, likely not killing him. Could this rebel actually be Commander Cody? Well, if you look at this specific rebel that was hit in the knee, he is slightly larger than the others on board. We know from Star Wars Rebels that the clones can very easily get larger when they're not in constant ground combat. The Battle of Scarif is one of the first large scale battles that the Rebellion were ever involved in, so it would make sense that Cody has not kept up his combat fitness and is starting to look exactly like Rex, Wolf and Gregor. The body shape of this rebel also looks almost identical to the clones from the walker on Celos in Rebels, so this could definitely be Cody. Now the very awesome and relieving thing is that if this bigger rebel is actually Commander Cody, he was very likely one of the survivors who made it onto the Tantive IV before the lever was pulled and they detached. As Vader is deflecting blaster fire back towards the rebels, you can clearly see that one rebel slips through the gap in the door as it is slowly closing, making it through into the next compartment of the ship. In the following seconds, you can also see this same rebel running towards the Tantive IV bay in the background as the Death Star plans are being handed through the door. To complete his journey, you can then see the rebel making it safely into the final compartment of Leia's ship just before the lights are turned on and the lever is pulled to detach the ship. Again, it is pretty hard to tell exactly which rebel it is, but you can see one of them who looks like Cody would run into the Tantive IV bay just moments before the lever is pulled and the ship detaches. To add to this, we also know that Dave Filoni was at least partially involved with the story of Rogue One because there were a huge amount of tie-ins with Rogue One in the final season of Star Wars Rebels. These included Saw Gerrera, Death Troopers, Director Krennic, and the robed man from Vader's castle who was originally going to be the same person as the one in Rebels. Chopper also made an appearance in the Yavin 4 base, with Hera Syndulla's name also being called out over the intercom. Now of course, Dave Filoni wasn't involved in writing the story for the film, but I do think that he may have slipped the rebel shouting Cody's name in there so that he can tie Rogue One into the rebel sequel which we know is coming very soon. There are massive rumours that Commander Cody will appear in that show, so maybe he can tell his story about how he was involved in the Battle of Scarif and saving the galaxy from the Death Star. Now there are some things that may disprove this theory but they are not very strong. The first is that in Legends, 
Commander Cody continued to serve with the Empire all the way up to the Battle of Kamino, where his fate is unknown, but he was rumoured to have died in Tamira City, where he was training stormtroopers. Now of course, new stories don't have to follow legends, but we know that Dave Filoni loves to stay faithful to legends material where possible. Another possible strike against this theory is that the rebel standing in the back doesn't necessarily look like a clone of Jango Fett. Because the lighting on the ship is very dark, it's very difficult to tell whether or not he is old enough to be a clone. I actually do think he does look older than the rest, but you guys should let me know down in the comments if you can get behind this theory. This would certainly be an amazing story for Cody to tell when he will likely meet up with Rex again in the Rebel sequel, but it's pretty hard to explain where he was at the Battle of Yavin and which rebel cell he joined before the events of Rogue One. But let me know down in the comments if you think he died at the hands of Vader on the ship. I just wanted to put that theory out there, obviously it's a pretty crazy one, but I hope you guys discuss it down in the comments below. I'm sure you guys will find plenty of holes in the theory, but I love the discussion so feel free to. Thanks so much for watching, remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.